joy, 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 joy overflow. <laughs> Hello, this is Francis. My name is Cheer. <laughs> okay. um, we just want to thank God for how he's led us through uh, 2021. Actually, 2021 has actually come and is gone. Unbelievable. Uh, that's right, I can't believe it. Praise the Lord. But you know, not without challenges, praise the Lord, and definitely with a lot of successes. Hallelujah. We're here to just count our, our blessing, to see how far God led us through the year 2021 as we move into this uh, new year, 2022. What do you think, honey? We want to thank everyone. That's we want right. to thank everyone who has been a part of this community, mm. um, physically on the ground, remotely. Right. Um, you've done so well. So much has happened uh, this past uh, one year, 2021, and we are so thankful that I'm grateful to God for you, the part you played, the role you played. Um, yeah, we just want to thank you before. Yeah, yeah, actually, uh, you see, uh, what we should be thanking God for, um, the people that he has brought around us to be part of this family, this community, uh, people have actually given their all, you know, in prayers, in support, in uh, advice sometimes as we in wisdom and comfort and counseling just different forms you know people just gave us led by the spirit of god and we should be you know kind of uh, grateful to god for grateful such god. kind yes. of uh, people yes. uh, you know praise the lord hallelujah yeah. yeah so looking at 2021 uh, honey it's not just um Yes, uh, Satan tried his best, but his best was just not enough, you know. Uh, we had major horns in the kingdom of God right. that lost wives and lost husbands, and lost father. we lost fathers and we lost mothers and, and things like that. You see, everything that Satan tried to do to see that he wears us down and cause us to lose focus of where we're going, Actually, he lost the battle. Why? Because there were lots of successes. What do you think? Yeah, I believe that, um, you know, looking at church history, um, the Church of Jesus Christ has always marched forward or That's grown right. stronger right. in times of tribulation. Um, oh. Satan always thinks that um, when he hurts God's people, it would make God's people, um, it would draw God's people to himself, okay? Um, and cause them to accuse their God. But we have counted God faithful. I mean, I watched um, Pastor Taiwo's, you know, comments um, on when uh, his second wife passed. I watched the church. Um, I remember when the first wife died. You remember way back then we I wept. Cried. We I, cried we wept so much. So we wept much. all through the night. Right. The next day was a Sunday. I remember vividly we went to fellowship with them as a community. Right. Um, just today we played the burial for <clears throat> uh, Marcus Lamb. Marcus Lamb. Right. And Marcus Lamb. I mean, these are people that we don't know personally, but we are, we love the kingdom of God. We love the body of Christ, and we would want to. Uh, cry with those who are crying and and uh, rejoice with those who are rejoicing and while watching Marcus Lamb's um, burial um, service, funeral service, service I cried for two straight hours wept I lot. wept, I was just crying and yeah. I was like what a man, what a That's gift right. to us and I saw he has raised strong children you know, raised children in the faith, that even made me cry the more you know, out of gratitude, not out of pain. But I saw the doggedness, the fierceness mm. with which the wife and everyone around is like, hey, look, we're taking this message on, right. we're moving forward. So we count God 
faithful, faithful yes. god is faithful mm. and there are just things that would happen irrespective of what we do no matter how much we tried um so we leave those things and we just know that god is a good god mm. god is faithful he loves his people mm. he loves his children and in the kingdom there's no death mm. really people just sleep that's right you know uh watching Marcus lamb today i said to my husband i said honey the greatest thing that could happen to anyone is mm. to be a child of God. Hallelujah. What a life. That's I mean, right. what a life. You're looking at your father's dead body and you are full of hope. Mm. What is the hope? I'm going to meet him again. That's right. I'm going to spend the rest of eternity mm. with this man. Mm. Oh, okay, so it's, it brings so much comfort, you know. And so we want to encourage everyone who lost someone, who lost That's a right. friend, mm. who lost a brother, who lost a parent. I mm. lost my dad. Well, my dad was 90 something years old so that was okay I lost my father-in-law you lost your father-in-law <laughs> <laughs> so we just want to encourage you to stay focused um keep your eyes bring your eyes back to the lord mm. and there's so much more that god has in stock for us mm. in the years ahead there are yeah. loads and loads, loads of yeah. awesome the reason beautiful to things give yes thanks to god yes, Hallelujah. yes. that's what In fact, we're here for i've been singing a uh, yeah, this song by Joe for, Praise, by Joe Praise joy, for joy. some time now. Joy, 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 joy. <laughs> I've got joy, 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 That's joy. Right. Yeah, there's That's so right. much to be thankful for. You know, so much um, wonderful things that happened in 2021. Mm. Now, uh, some of the things um, uh, I s I would want us to thank God for again is the new direction that he gave to us you see something about the Spirit of God you know he set you on a mission and uh, you probably don't know where it would take you to I remember uh, scriptures tell us that Abraham obeyed you know God when uh, he was told to go to a place where That's he right. would show him mm -hmm. and he actually obeyed not knowing where, where he was, was going. going that's right Hallelujah. and that's i remember when we started praying for the man child we were praying for the man child you know that's what the lord had given us instructions to do and we started off with that and from there we picked up uh, pa elton's uh, 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 prophecies and we prayed with that for years and then god just opened up a way for us you know to begin to minister to First of all, we started with encouraging, uh, you know, crusades and things like that. Outreaches. You know, outreaches. Over and there. Stuff over there in uh, Benue. And then from there, we now went into core discipleship, where we now began to move into the hinterland. You know, praise the Lord. God just helped us in that. And before we knew what was going on, we had uh, loads of uh, exciting mm -hmm. uh, missionary assignment mm -hmm. that we never knew we were going to get to. It's, it's wonderful to um, see books open That's right. and books read. That's right. <clears throat> books open in the heavens mm. and then men on earth are Begin able to, to yeah, read access. the right. books, access the books mm. and see their daily lives mm. um, being what has already been scripted by That's God. Right. Uh, we don't, we're not perfect yet. I mean, we're not getting it right 100%. Mm. But just to see one thing, mm written of me and me fulfilling it it gets me terribly excited you know um so we we, we want to thank god for um you know, as we were talking now honey i remembered prophecies i remembered the meeting we had with um i think it's david edwards back in 2016 uh i remember um the meeting i mean the, when i mean meeting i mean the meeting between the three of us yeah you know that's um, uh, like, um, yeah sharing the sharing, visions and dreams, yeah, dreams yeah. and trying to interpret what those dreams meant mm -hmm. i remember a vision also that uh, pastor jato had right. um, i remember a young man walking into our midst and talking about the doors of the nations being mm -hmm. open mm -hmm. and things like that and um just seeing uh, the ministry you know move in a certain direction and then when you think back in retrospect in retrospect you yeah, see that see these that. are things the hands of God. that had already been prophesied <laughs> or spoken yeah. about or you dreamt about mm. and had no clue had no understanding mm. so we're seeing ourselves 
uh, we're seeing even the, the purpose for the cave, <clears throat> the kind of ministry that we have, the facility that we have, mm. and you know what God would use um, the place to do mm. in the body. And um, without you know letting too much cat out of the bag, mm. I just want to say that it's been exciting, mm. um, bringing in nations, That's discipling right. nations, nations. Right. Um, helping nations chart their courses mm. in understanding what the gospel ought to be what should be preached mm. how to minister to people and we're seeing them taking their land seeing them taking the people seeing them pushing ahead in a totally different dimension mm. that is exciting you know and then of course the discipleship program yeah because we're not just discipling nations yes. we're also discipling discipline in uh, locally also. Yeah, that's right. Uh, um, the Lamps Wives Discipleship yes, Program. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yeah. Mm. So we're, we're seeing all of that happening and we're understanding the blueprint much better, the blueprint that God has given to us and what our assignment and mission is, mm. which is to disciple the nations that's, from far, that's right. from, from near, near. Mm. and... Um, um, we're grateful to God. We're seeing the fruit of all of this work in people's lives individually, um, seeing people walk with the Lord, seeing people love the Lord, seeing people grow and mature in such a short time. It's totally mind blowing, yeah. you know. Yeah, um, actually, the Lamb's Wife Discipleship Program is something that. I would say it took us by surprise. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I mean by that is, first of all, the response of the people, not just the response of the people, but also um, uh, how hard everyone put in their best to see that they actually got discipled. Hallelujah. Got discipled, you know. Um, their enthusiasm, their attitude to work, attitude to assignments, and, you know, the joy of seeing themselves you know actually growing seeing the difference between when they started and where they find themselves at the different uh, stages um. I think um, I'm seeing the future okay you know just looking at the last one year mm. I see the fulfillment of Matthew you know, when Jesus said, go into all the world and make disciples, disciples. That's right. of nations, so that's baptizing the them. Yeah, that's yes. the commission. That's, that's the assignment. That's actually the instruction. That's the that's instruction the given to us, that's yes. Right. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Right. You know, all that, it's not water baptism. It's not water baptism in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That is ensuring that the fullness of God that's right. is downloaded. downloaded into a man. You know, so I'm seeing the future and I'm excited because some of the things we've done, we started very small, 12 people, 18 people, and um, it's wonderful. You disciple one person and one person disciples four people. Okay, so those four people will disciple 16 people and 16 people will disciple, you know, we just see that multiplying. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking at the next five years, 10 years. I don't know how much more time we have but I'm seeing the possibility of um, raising these beings that God wants us to raise through the discipleship program. Praise God. Yeah, you know one cool thing as you're talking now, uh, my mind went to uh, response, responsibilities of each individual to his brother. That's right. To her brother or sister. You know, everyone's seen. Uh, his or herself responsible for his brother, be his brother's keeper. Keeper, so much love, uh, yeah. so, so much, much love. So yeah, that's much what I'm love. seeing. Yeah. It's so much love, that's you right. know, and um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful to observe. Yes. And sometimes I, I hear you when you say things like, "Oh, these uh, people are learning even faster and more mm -hmm. than yourself. They are doing better than me. Doing better than yourself. Running better than me. <laughs> Praying more that than is, me. Fasting that... more than me. They challenge me." <laughs> They challenge so me. We just want to thank God for yes. all these things that have yes. happened, you know, even in the face of all the losses 
we were able to count not just losses, but we were able to count blessings. his blessings right. one by one. And we have been able to see that truly what he said in the in the book of Jeremiah, and I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of good, not of evil, to bring it to an expected end. So we're looking for that expected end. That's right. Hallelujah. Now, the end is not yet. Mm -hmm. Yeshua said so. This is just the beginning. <laughs> the end is not yet. He said, this you hear of beginning. wars and rumors of wars. He said, these are just the beginning of bed pangs, mm -hmm. uh, which means that there's a whole lot that uh, is coming. But in the face of all that is coming in this new year we're entering, Hallelujah. We are not going to uh, uh, be weary. We are not going to uh, back, back down. We are going to be aggressive. Yeshua said that the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence take it by force. Mm -hmm. So even we are going to run through the troop That's of 2022. Right. That's right. Hallelujah. We are going to leap over the wall of Hallelujah. 2022. Thank All the you, obstacles. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. And we are going to come out victorious by His Amen. grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I see that we would by his grace probably focus more on discipleship yes what do you think yes we're gonna focus more on discipling the nations That's discipling right. the people um we're gonna focus so much more on um, mentoring one-on-one -on -one, mentoring that's right discipling one-on-one -on -one. one of the things we've seen in in christendom is we see a happy church mm. in quote you know so the preacher is there, the congregation members are there, mm. the drums are beating, people are dancing and singing, but everyone dancing and singing is broken. That's it's, right. It's, it's all a bunch of broken people. People are struggling with sin. People are struggling with their finances. People are struggling with praying. People are struggling with hearing God. People are struggling with trying to know the will of God. Mm. And the pre pastor preaches himself happy mm. and goes home and thinks the job is done. Nothing is done. Mm. done. So we must um, take it a step further that's right, that's and right. get involved that's right. with people mm. um, as much as you know room is given that's right. so that people can stand. We can see Christ. I want to see Christ in my marriage. Mm. I want to see Christ in how I raise my children. I want to see Christ in my meal times, how I eat, what I eat. That's right. I want to see Christ in my relationship with my sister, with my brother. I want to see Christ in my work, my handwork, my business, praise God, my emotional life. You know, am I depressed? Am I, am I hiding from myself? Am I in self-denial? I want to see Christ in every aspect of my life. And I want to see that in my brother. I want to see that in my sister. I want to see that in my children. Mm. And then my job is to find out if what can I do for you, do with you, do to you, mm. so that these things abound in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, when we do that, um, we're trusting the Lord to create that platform and give us that wisdom to be able to truly raise people not just followers of the ministry but followers of our lord jesus christ Hallelujah. looking Hallelujah. at what you just said now i see that uh this coming year is full of um uh, assignments to do work to do so we have to just get set and get ready to that's work. right i see lots of visitations i see lots of uh, visit people looking closely, mm -hmm. going bef going past the smoke screen, mm -hmm. not uh, going past all the smiles mm -hmm. and all that, and actually finding out from mm -hmm. our brother, being a brother's keeper. That's right. And we are finding out, bearing burdens, mm -hmm. you know, actually praying for people. Praying for Hallelujah. people. Yeah, that's right. You know, um, I, we, we have, you know, done full circle from being judgmental, mm -hmm. honestly, to being nurses for Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, understanding that people are captives of circumstances people are captives of evil spirits people are captives of wicked altars divinations enchantments you know it's not just okay so somebody doesn't want your business to do well no 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 i'm talking about christian living you know something somewhere someone somewhere administrating an altar offering sacrifices to satan the incense of that sacrifice is that you're not able to pray when you ought to pray mm. 
You're not able to read your Bible when you want to read your Bible. You know, the joy of the Lord, the joy of your salvation, there are just virtues of the Spirit that you're not able to express. Why? Because you have become a captive. So we're trusting the Lord that in the new year, we're going to be laboring to free people, not to condemn them and not to wonder at why, why is this one always telling lies? Maybe he's a victim. That's right. And he needs to be freed. Why is this one not able to read, not able to pray? Mm. So maybe if I would pray for him more and fast for him, That's right. maybe he would be free. And I think this is what Jesus has called us to do. Unfortunately, we're learning these things um, pretty late. So much time has gone, but thank God we're here finally. Hallelujah. So um, please join us, okay? And um, when you join us, pick up your shoes. <laughs> pick up your shoes, pick up your Bible. We'll be praying a lot. Praise God. We'll be reading our Bibles a lot. Praise God. We would be talking with each other. We would encourage openness, vulnerability, right. accountability to one another. Praise God. We would um, encourage um, friendships. Friendships that the purpose of this friendship is to build each other up. Okay? And so in the course of doing that, you build a family. Praise God. We would be encouraging you to spend a lot of time being quiet before the Lord. I found out that, you know, the Bible says there's a scripture that says in quietness and confidence mm. shall be your strength. Mm. And then the scripture that says be still and know that I, I am God. God. I found out that, you know, sometimes it's not the noisy, noisy, noisy prayers that God is looking for. God is just looking for a quiet, you know, some quiet time, some still time with him you know and those moments would actually be moments of strength where strength is imparted to you for what you are going to face so um these are instructions that are coming to us for the year 2022 because in the world it's going to be dark in the world hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> This is me and uh, my beautiful wife coming to your homes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Wishing you the best of this new year. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. More love, mm -hmm. more prayers, more intimacy with the Lord, more studying the word. Hallelujah. Much more progress, breakthroughs. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep Amen. you. Make his face shine upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord give you peace. That's the right. Lord strengthen you. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. hey, um, if you're looking for a place to, to fellowship, to meet with God, join us. Join us. We're determined to meet with God in 2022. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.